You might be able to water really in the little pit I dug. I'm gonna check her on out. are high. Oh, the minnows are all the way up there. That's funny. Uh, Scaring the fish. Got it. I think I'll cool off a little bit in the pond. Another thing I do to keep the RPMs up, I kind of ride the rear brake going into the water and it helps the, basically slips the clutches more. Ooh, the pond has gotten a lot deeper. It slips the clutches more, which helps you keep your RPMs up, which helps you idle underwater. You see? I'm going for it. Oh, oh. as deep as you want to go on 30s with four inch portals and a two foot snorkel. Yeah, so the four wheel drive thing on a Rubicon, if you do water riding, I've said this a million times, but people keep asking, press the four wheel drive button, turn it on. You hear the, it'll engage. And then you see, once I roll a little bit, four wheel drive engaged. Um, that's just a habit you kind of get into. And then to, once you do that, you can take it in and out of four wheel drive, no problem. For whatever reason, that procedure is like a reset for the weird mode it gets in when some of the relays or the wire harness gets wet. Uh, it's a really easy workaround and I've been doing it forever. Um, I never have any issues, but I'm very careful about how I engage four wheel drive and how I engage uh, differential lock. If you're not, I suspect it uh, makes you go through actuators faster. Some of you may have seen this thing is for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Obviously, it's been in some deep water, as you just saw, but everything is well sealed up and it works great. Um, this is for sale. Uh, I was going to sell it on the MX618 tires, but someone wanted those, so I don't have those anymore. So I really don't have any tires to sell it on at this moment. So I'm not selling it on the 38s or the paddle tires. And I like my 32s a lot and my 33s. Um, I'm trying to clean out the garage to make room for more projects, but um, I need to keep these tires up for the Can-Am because I like to run them sometimes. They're they're nice for like trails and stuff. Um, I like those factory Can-Am beadlocks, even though this one always leaks down. But if you're interested in the Rubicon, which you might not be because you've seen all my videos of it, um, but it has been maintained pretty well. It has the Elka shocks. Those shocks are well over like, well over two grand, like twenty five hundred dollars for the set of shocks. It has the four inch portals with the custom brackets. It has the raked and arch control arms, which is the real key to this thing, making it work right. Being this tall, you gotta have the rake. And other than that, it's mostly stock. Obviously it's snorkeled really well and waterproofed. Um, it doesn't have a ton of hours on it. Um, I can't show you exactly how many hours or miles because this button on the screen quit working. The screen does light up and stuff. Um, you see your speedometer and your four wheel drive and everything, but you can't scroll through the settings, so I can't show you how many miles or hours, unfortunately. Um, it's got nice 12 millimeter studs and lug nuts, um, and those portals are set up for 4x137 uh, lug pattern. However, you could set these portals up for whatever lug pattern you wanted, because they have all those different holes. You just have to knock the studs out with a nut and change the lug pattern. Um, so if you want this, and you have some tires and wheels you want to put on it, um, you know, if you bring 4x137, you just throw, we can just throw them on there. Uh, and if you want, if you're really nice, yes, really nicely, I could change the lug pattern for you to fit your tires and wheels uh, for a small fee. Um, there's no internal reduction in the motor. It's all portals. If you want to run like a 32, it's fine. Uh, if you want to run like a 32 Assassin or you might want like a slightly bigger reduction or a slight reduction in the motor. Uh, but it's pretty much good to go the way it is. Um, I actually really like how it's set up right now on 33 inch Aztecs. However, I love my 33 inch Aztecs and you cannot have them because they're on the Can-Am. Um, I have it up on Facebook Marketplace for like 11 grand. 
but being that I don't have tires and wheels for it, I'm selling it without tires and wheels. Uh, nine grand if you're a my puppy subscriber or whatever. Um, come and get it. That's a super good deal. You can barely get one of these bikes in Florida for nine grand without the portals and everything else. And yes, it is a 2025 20. However, I have a 2019 front bumper on it because I like the look of the 2019 front bumper a lot better. Um, but there's a sticker on the frame. TRX 520 FM6 2020. So it is a 520 for all you uh, haters out there. And probably wondering about stock parts. Um, I do have all the skid plates right there. These are the stock knuckles um, and then the fr stock front brakes and all that stuff. Um, I have all the stock parts for it. There's the rear knuckles. So all that goes with it. If you wanted to take the portals off and put it back to stock and then, you know, the portals are worth three grand as a setup. Uh, and then you got a stock Rubicon. So nine grand is an extremely good deal for that bike, even though I'm selling without tires and wheels. Um, so if you're interested, um, as far as contacting me, comment in the comment section. I can get a hold of you through there or get on the Mud Puppy Q&A Facebook page and post on there. Hey, Mud Puppy, I'm interested in the Rubicon and I'll get back to you in short order. Um, and every single ride it's done, it's on video. So you're welcome to go look at what it's been through. This is also going to be for sale soon, um, mainly because I don't have time to mess with it. It needs a front differential rebuild. The front diff's stripped. Uh, it needs a ring and pinion, basically. Um, they, it does have 529s in it, so it needs a 529 ring and pinion. The header leaks a little bit. Um, the paint's obviously peeling. Um, I mean, it's just been sitting. It's been used kind of around the house. The door got backed into one time. Um, these bumpers were three grand for the front and rear bumpers. Uh, there's the interior. It's not perfect at all. Windshield's cracked. Um, it needs some love. You can definitely make it into a, a mud truck or whatever. It tucks and clears 37s perfectly with the suspension setup I got in it. Obviously, Lexus premium leather. Still has carpet in it. Um, it's a little rough, though. Um, so I don't even know what I'm going to ask for this thing, but I do need to get rid of it. Not because I don't want to work on it or anything. It's just I hate it sitting around and not being fully utilized because it's such a cool truck. And I've got so much time and money in it. I'd much rather someone else be having fun with it than it just sitting in my yard. And I, I, I drive it around the house and use it around here. Um, it is does have a clean title and it is all registered and everything um, Insured actually and I can drive it on the road, which I do sometimes but um, You know, I don't do it a ton But if you're interested in this also post on the mud puppy Q&A Facebook page and I don't even know what I'm gonna ask for it But if you're interested, let me know. I'm not trying to get a ton of money out of it I'm just trying to get this get it to somebody who's actually gonna use it because it's a really cool truck And I wanted it forever and I got it and I did what everything I wanted with it and now I kind of want something newer and more daily drivable the exhaust is a little dented as you can see um but yeah it's got it's got a good setup on it the the lift kit's legit ome j springs um drop brackets back here and then caster brackets on the up front it is factory locked um i did the part-time four-wheel drive kit on it so it's got the hubs and it's got the spool and the transfer case and that all works great um needs the front diff rebuilt uh the winch the winch is shot <laughs> it needs a winch if you wanted to put a winch back on it um yeah it's definitely been through some stuff and as you can see in the videos but it'd be a great project for somebody to get going as a first truck i'd love to give this to some kid because this is like the best off-roading machine in the world still nothing has been made that can challenge it unfortunately i am just too busy to uh get it to where i want it to be and these vehicles i have right here are, are all new and require a lot less attention so um it's just not convenient enough but it's an awesome truck and I probably got $30,000 in it. So, you know, so it's a good starting place for someone who wants to put some time into it.